Hi there, my name is Dr. Stephen Case, and I'm a postdoc fellow here at the Baylor Counseling Center. I'm going to show you a quick mindfulness doodling activity that can help with calming, focus, and self-compassion. This particular activity is from the Zentangle Method, which was developed by Maria Thomas and Rick Roberts. I'm not a certified Zentangle teacher, and I don't consider myself an artist. But really, you don't have to be a good artist to do art. Mindfulness is about engaging in the moment with self-compassion. It's not about the art turning out good or bad, but that you're getting to create it. All you need is a pen, a small piece of paper, and about 10 to 15 minutes. If you like this activity, check out the Zentangle.com idea page for more. Let's get started. What I'm going to use is a Sharpie pen just because it's really bold so that you can see it a little bit better, but any pen will work. And then all you need is a small piece of paper because it's a really tiny activity. So we're going to start just by doing a crescent shape. It's a really simple and, and beautiful design. Just something like that. And you'll see after I do this that you can kind of take it any way you want to, but this is kind of the basic form that we start with. And then what I'm going to do is just start adding these small little ladybug shapes all the way across. So as I'm going here, I'm just making them about a ladybug's width apart. And there's no need to rush. I'm really just going to take my time through this whole activity. Sometimes as I get towards the end, I like to make them just a little bit smaller and get them a little closer together, which gives it a little bit more dimension. Then I'm going to fill them in. I like to work from the inside out. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's kind of the irregularities that make it yours. So as I'm doing this mindfully, I'm really just focusing on what's in front of me, kind of filling these in, noticing the ink as it spreads around. And it's a simple form so that there's a way that it's kind of repetitive. You can start getting creative with it as we go along, but there's still that kind of repetitive nature about this. Just going to each one and filling it in. You'll probably notice that I'm moving my left hand with the paper a lot more than I'm going to be moving my right hand. And that's so that I can basically make all the pen strokes the same angle. Okay. I'm going to just go back in and fill in a few spots that I see here. Okay, so now we have all of our ladybugs kind of lined up. The next thing we're going to do is kind of uh, make some rainbow circles around each of the ladybugs. I'm going to go to each one. And you see that they're not perfect. You 
can start to feel the self-judgment creeping in just a little bit. But, oh, these are, these are all a little bit different. But it's okay, because when we get towards the end, you'll see that it gives it a little bit of a bubble feel, that it's all just a little bit different. Notice that I'm really taking my time here. I'm not rushing it. I'm just kind of focusing on each movement of the pen. So I'm gonna go over it again, but you can see this is already really cool. You could just stop here. It's a really beautiful shape. over it again. It's really just relaxing and repetitive. So on this one, I'm going to go and do one more layer. I usually like to do about three. As you can see, I'm making them a little bit thicker as I go back this way, and it gives it a little bit of dimension. All right, so that's it for our first layer here. And now we're gonna do the little ladybugs again um, in the in-between spots for our second layer. So you're just gonna go and do that again. So sometimes I'll start by filling these in and then make them a little bit bigger as I go. And again, I kind of cascade it downward to make them smaller and smaller as I get towards the end. You can really do whatever you want. I'm just showing you the way that I usually like to do this. pretty cool. So you could really stop there again, but I'll show you, you can just keep going for a while. Again, kind of giving it the impression that it's getting bigger and bigger as you go outward. So 
I'm gonna do three little rainbow layers again. time. As I'm doing this, I'm also kind of paying attention to my breathing as I concentrate on the activity. Just kind of listening to what my breaths are doing. enjoying watching this come together. Okay, so we have our second layer there. I'm going to do one more, a third. So what it's doing is giving you that impression of depth, both downwards this way and then across to the end. I'm just going to make a few small rainbows here. more times. And so as I'm going, I can see a place where I want to change something. It feels like I missed something right here. I can just go back and do that if I want to.
Okay. So there it is. You can see the dimension. It kind of looks like it's cascading downward. Really, really pretty easy and in beautiful form to draw. So if you want to keep going, just one more little cheat here. If you have a pencil or any sort of graphite, what you can do is just go along between each ladybug on the bottom line and give it a little bit of shading. So I'm just going to do this really lightly. Doesn't need much. This pen is already pretty thick, so it already gives it a little bit of that, that dimension. going back over it, making it a little darker. All right, that's the first line, and then I'm going to do the second. Right in that area where the second layer is. And then just a little bit on the top. All right, so now it really looks like it's cascading downward. Okay, well there it is. Um, I encourage you to, you can start out with this one and then you'll see that you can do all sorts of things. You could start twisting around in different directions um, and then you can even play around with the different bubble shapes um, and doing different cool things with that. Um, again, go to zentangle.com and they'll show you a lot of different ideas too. But thank you so much for following along and doing this activity with me. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for following along. We want you to know that we're here for you. So if you need to speak to a counselor or you're in crisis, just call us at 254-710-2467. Best wishes for the rest of your semester and sick em bears. <laughs>